So welcome everyone to the uh, panel, uh, image credits in Wikipedia, can we do better? I'm going to introduce my, shortly introduce uh, the four speakers who are going to take part in the panel, and then uh, every speaker would introduce a bit more if they want um, about themselves. So we are going to talk with Isaac, um, who started the whole conversation on Facebook, thanks to which we do have this session. Uh, Asaf Bartol, a long-time Wikipedian from Hebrew Wikipedia. Uh, Dominic, who is going to talk uh, about his work also related to this uh, issue problem with image crediting. And I am a um, Ukrainian Wikipedian and also an administrator on the Ukrainian Wikipedia. And I also share the concerns and um, uh, um, things. The outline of the um, panel is we are going to present slides. We are going to talk about uh, issues that we see, problems, uh, also possible solutions. and. Um, talk about a pilot project that can be started as a result of this talk. And also we are going to take questions or discussion points if anyone from the audience would like to add something. With that, I'm going to give floor to Isaac. Thank you very Thank much, you very much. Nice. and good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, from Nigeria. So, so um, thank you again, again for, for providing additional context uh, on the fact that this whole discussion actually started from our Wikipedia Weekly Facebook page. And I'm really very excited to join uh, this conversation today. But let me start by saying that most reusers of images from Wikipedia believe it is safe and they do not have to worry about any risk of criminal liability or legal jeopardy. But in the real sense, uh, images on Wikipedia are really free and safe for reusers. Yes, it is free and safe, provided the reuser can comply with the licensing you know, conditions of the image. But imagine a scenario uh, in which an academic or or a company, for instance, reuse an image from Wikipedia and credit same to Wikipedia because they found the image on Wikipedia. And a week later, receive a letter from a lawyer that they have infringed on the copyright of the image they used from Wikipedia. The academy or company was told the image belongs to uh, a Nigerian photographer called Ayokomi Oyeyemi and ask the academic or company to pay damages and legal fee. So this is the kind of risk we are probably subjecting reusers of images uh, in Wikipedia as too. So let's look at um, our current practice. Uh, I mean, the current practice on how uh, we provide um, information for reusers. So our current practice provide the licensing information on external website, mostly uh, Wikimedia Commons, uh, with insertions of a clickable links to the original file that contains all the relevant information. And our current practice also assumes that reusers will click on the invisible links to find the image license. The question is, is our current practice really helpful enough for our users? Do they yeah, have sorry. sufficient information? I need to. Or is this current practice sufficient enough for our users to satisfy the licensing requirement of images they right. use on Wikipedia? Right. This is Alfago from production. One second. So we just provide that link and, you know, tell them to Isaac. click on it. We don't even provide information, you know, uh, that they must click on link to find those information. So we just, you know, put that invisible uh, 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 link there. But that comes with its own problems. So we need to look at the common problems that are, you know, associated uh, with uh, the current practice. One of them is misattributions by reusers or no attributions at all. 
because most of the time when these reusers uses contents from Wikipedia, they just credit it to Wikipedia. Hey team, Isaac, because Isaac, of Isaac, they can't find Isaac, can you hear us? Isaac. Content. Sometimes they don't even provide attribution. I can't hear. That's Isaac, can problem. you please? And Isaac. by extension, these put reusers at risk of criminal liability. All right, I put him into the waiting room, um, and we are actually starting now. Um, hey, Paddle, can you ask Mikael to come in? Sorry, there was a discrepancy here. We are getting started now to have you join. So we One start second. on Linux from the beginning? Yes, and then I'll add okay. Isaac. One second, I'll let you know when. Apologies. Okay. okay. Hello, can you hear me? It looks like um, the system locked me out. So. One uh, second, Isaac. We are putting yes. you back Isaac, on. we are still not ready. Can you hear us? Because you were not able to hear before. Isaac? So, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if I can continue, uh, if you can hear me. Yes, we can hear oh, you. Okay, can great. you hear us? Can you hear us? Because you yes, were unable to hear clear. before. Okay. We... Thank you very much, uh, Nat. To... I was uh, we... shocked out of it. Okay. Yes, we need, we need, uh, can you hear us? Can you yeah. hear me? Yes, I can, okay. I can we hear need, you loud We need clear. to start, yes, we need to start from the beginning. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> yeah, well, we tried to call you, but you didn't hear us for some reason. Okay, so good to go. Yes, thank you. So it <laughs> uh, feels a bit like a deja okay. So Thank uh, you very much. Uh, uh, I'll, start, I'll start again, and I'll tell you when okay. to, you can again, okay? Yeah. All right. Sorry, All everyone right. in the room. Sorry, uh, you'll have to do, do the beginning from the beginning uh, again. So uh, welcome everyone to the session, Image Credits in Wikipedia, Can We Do Better? We want to talk a bit about our own practices of um, attributing, not attributing, mentioning, using uh, media images in Wikipedia articles. And uh, this panel uh, going to have four speakers, that's Isaac, um, Asaf Bartov, and Dominic and myself, uh, we all come from different Wikipedias, different projects, and we also have different backgrounds. Uh, but uh, this panel, um, the, the topic of this panel is relevant uh, for all of us. Uh, it all of the idea of this talk started with the post by Isaac in uh, uh, Facebook and Wikipedia Weekly. And uh, we are going to talk uh, about our practices and about problems and possible ways to um, resolve them. Uh, and also ways to join a pilot project if anyone from the audience is interested in. And also we are going to have a session with q and A. You can also definitely um, post your questions in the chat. Uh, um, but we are going to take them uh, along the way if you see them and they fit, or maybe later when we have the Q&A session. So with that, I'm going to give the floor to Isaac. Thank you very much, Nat. Uh, I'm happy to be here, and thanks for providing the additional context that this uh, conversation uh, started uh, on Wikipedia Weekly on, on Facebook. So um, I would like to say that um, most reusers of images from Wikipedia strongly believe it's safe and they do not have to worry about any risk of criminal liability or jeopardy for using any of those contents from Wikipedia. 
But are images on Wikipedia actually free and safe for users? The answer is yes, it is free and safe, provided the reusers can comply with the licensing conditions of the image. And one of the most important and key uh, requirement is that the copyright order, which is uh, the photographer, in the case of photograph, uh, must be credited. But imagine a scenario in which uh, a business uh, company or, or an academic institution reuse an image from Wikipedia and credit the image to Wikipedia simply because they found the image on Wikipedia. And a few days later, receive a letter from a lawyer that they have infringed on the copyright of the image they reused from Wikipedia. And the lawyer claiming the image belongs to one Isaac Olatunde from Nigeria, a Nigerian photographer, and not Wikipedia, and demands you know, the, uh, the academic institutions or the company to pay uh, uh, for damages and the legal fee. So this is probably uh, a classic example of risk we are putting or subjecting the users of images from Wikipedia to. That, that they don't get to report reported on the media does not mean they don't happen. Some of these things happen almost all the time. But is our current practice, is our current practice, you know, really helpful enough for our users to satisfy this legal requirement? Let's review our current practice. Let's, uh, you know, uh, put it uh, like this. Our current practice actually provide the licensing information on the external website, usually Wikimedia Commons, and insert almost invisible uh, clickable links to the original files containing all relevant information. This same practice assumes that Reusers will click on the invisible link to find the image license and every other information pertaining to that image. The question is, is this current practice sufficient enough? Is it helpful enough? Is it enough to guide reusers on how to reuse content uh, from Wikipedia? It is not entirely bad uh, to uh, present it this way, but it also comes with its own problems. So let's look at some of the problems uh, that are associated with um, this sort of uh, guide guides. So one of the common problem is misattributions by reusers or no attributions at all. So misattribution in the sense that many people who reuse content from Wikipedia, we almost you know credit that content to Wikipedia itself or provide no attributions at all, because they would definitely not see uh, who the uh, copyright order is right from the page. And by extension, this puts these reusers at risk of criminal liability or legal jeopardy. And this has a serious implications on our project, on its credibility, reliability of, uh, sorry, on its credibility and reliability of information on Wikipedia. But why should we even care about crediting uh, copyright order in Wikipedia? Why should it matter? Why, why should we spend you know, uh, volunteers time trying to provide uh, credit? First of all, it's a legal requirement that we must satisfy. And we must strive as much as possible to satisfy that legal requirement. There is no excuse. Uh, that volunteers' time will be wasted is not a valid reason to circumvent that requirement. So why should we care? One, it minimizes or even maybe significantly reduces misattributions, which means if you make the credit line as clear and visible as possible, people will hardly misattribute it to Wikipedia. People will hardly or almost not be able to not provide credit lines. They will, you know, see the copyright order and whatever it is, and they will be able to provide appropriate credit. And this way, we protect copyright orders' uh, works from misuse. And this gives them, you know, confidence in our projects and, you know, gives them the, um, the impression that we are reliable and we can actually protect their interest. And we, you know, uh, tremendously result in them 
adding more content, releasing more content for use. Then it also protects reusers from criminal liability or legal jeopardy after reuse. I mean, uh, remember the scenario I, I painted. I mean, you can imagine if I have to receive a, a letter from a lawyer that uh, violated the copyright because I misattributed it. Not my fault because I don't have, you know, a sound knowledge of how copyright works. And I believe the content of Wikipedia has been released under free license. And I get that kind of, uh, you know, letter. It could, you know, change my orientations, my thought, my belief about Wikipedia's reliability and credibility. So all of that encompasses our serious implications on our project. So what I'm saying in the next sense that it shows that when, when we, when we uh, you know, uh, care about all of this, what the, the, the picture we paint out there is that Wikipedia can be trusted, uh, it's credible, and you know, can be considered reliable uh, as a good source of information. So um, how, uh, what should we do better to improve our current practices? How should we go about it? Who are the people that should be involved? Are there, is there any uh, steps that should be taken as an emergency intervention? What do we do with the ones that have been, you know, uh, uh, probably drawn wrongly in the past? So all of this is central to the discussion we have today. So I'm going to uh, hand over uh, to my colleague, uh, Nats, to take it away from me. Nats, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Isaac. So I just wanted to remind uh, about um, the requirement of the license, the most common license that we use now for media, that we must give appropriate credit. And um, one may argue that given this invisible link where we suspect, expect people to somehow guess and know that all the information about the author is going to be provided on another website, um, or sometimes not, if we are talking about non-free media, is, uh, I would argue, not the appropriate uh, credit to the authors. So even if we, uh, even though uh, Creative Commons um, explicitly say that our practice is legal, uh, but there are real issues with that, that Isaac um, referred to a bit, we actually do not advertise, we lose a way to advertise free licenses, even though we argue, our projects arguably rely on them. We do not clearly mark non-free media guiding people inside the articles. Even can just take um, screenshots and be unaware that the pictures inside the articles have different kind of licenses possible and authors. Also, we ourselves do not set a good example given credit for the use and we expect others to do that when we uh, do not give the appropriate credit ourselves. So the English Wikipedia has already discussed this in the past and their argument not to include image credits because they are relevant to this discussion and you can find at this link. Um, uh, for example, uh, one of the arguments was there is no need to clutter articles with this information. Credit is already provided for the majority of images by linking them to the file description page which includes authorship, licensing, and more. Um, and that partially is true, but again, we go back to this link being invisible and not clear. Whereas we do clutter article with uh, templates explaining to people that this or that text fragment was taken from this or that source, even if that source is under free license or even in public domain. And then it begs the question: Why don't we have? Uh, why don't we have um, something like an information for the reader included in the article as a template that images used in this article are in public domain or published under free license or non-free media fair use, used for educational purposes? And this information you can get from the file description pages. You will see if you click on each file themselves in the article. Or maybe we should have them at least in the terms below because other uh, projects are not 
uh, text inclusive, uh, exclusive and the terms do mention that the text is available. There is no mentioning about the images used. So we do not expect people to understand about the text fragments. We do not people expect people to just believe that the information is taken under free license or everything, but we do expect people to somehow click on in an invisible link and also believe that we are cluttering uh, the, tech, uh, the articles if we just even um, uh, citation or mentioning or explanation about the uh, images. So um, a warning in the terms seems to be um, uh, warranted, taking into account that we do that for the text. Uh, but also we do mention about the text in the article itself, not only about uh, not only in the terms. So it seems that proper citation attribution for every image used also uh, can be warranted. We can have easily have an article with 400 footnotes about every morsel of uh, text information used. And we would have all those sources. We would have also general sources, um, but we just want people to understand and read more further reading. Um, and we still, with all of that, are going to have a template about text included being from a source uh, under a free license or about or in public domain. Because we do not expect people just to guess that. And also we are going to have that mentioned on every page in terms used. So we also already know that media helps articles and articles help promote media. Uh, what I mean by that is that media files used in the article do help reader to understand the article better. Um, illustrations for particular portions of the article needed. Articles, Wikipedia are viewed by more people and they are going to be reused more and um, um, some uh, uh, media outlets are going to use those uh, pictures in the uh, prominently featured in the articles more if they want to illustrate some points. So one of the other arguments the English Wikipedia uh, has in that uh, discussion was maintaining this in article credits would be a significant maintenance burden on other editors. But there are ways to have it automated. Um, let's talk about that. And with this, I'm going to give floor to Dominic uh, to uh, give us a bit of a background information and uh, practical ways uh, to automate uh, this uh, information being shown in the articles uh, based on his work. Dominic. Great. Uh, thanks so much. And um, thanks for inviting me. Um, you, you can go to the next slide. Um, first, I just want to talk a little bit about how I came to this issue. Um, so over the last two years, I've been working with the Digital Public Library of America, uh, which is the National Cultural Heritage or Aggregator in the United States. And um, since we launched our program in 2020, we've uploaded about 3 million files to Wikimedia Commons from over 200 individual contributing institutions, becoming the largest contributor to Wikimedia Commons. Um, next slide. And that's you can find our category there on Commons. Um, we're doing this uh, essentially just to provide our member institutions a simple activity uh, that they can easily be trained to perform, putting their images into Wikipedia articles, um, for which the outcome can be easily measurable. So this is an example of an image from the Indiana State Library in the United States um, that was uploaded by DPLA um, and as uh, in a Wikipedia article. Uh, in one case, a single institution staff member working to add images uh, to over 100 articles over the course of a few months generated 45 million page views for their institution, which is a, a huge impact. Um, next slide. Uh, in addition to the uploads themselves, we actually contribute metadata in the form of structured data on Commons now. Um, so this is just showing what, what our uploads actually look like in practice. Um, so for every image, we add about 10 or more um, uh, structured data statements 
to our uploads. Um, and you know, we, we can do that because we have all the institutions descriptive metadata. That's what we're using to, to do our uploads. So we're uploading statements or we're adding, um, sorry, <laughs> we're adding statements uh, like title, uh, creator, copyright, description, um, all those sorts of things. Uh, and this also has allowed us to regularly sync and update the metadata for all of our past uploads uh, whenever the institution makes changes to their data. So it's not just a static uh, snapshot of the uploads that uh, as they looked like when we when we did them. Um, next slide. Um, so just briefly, I just wanted to say that the success of, of our uh, program at DPLA is really based on these two philosophies. Um, first, we need to get institutions on board with participating, and that means uh, tasks that busy professionals can perform successfully with minimal new skills necessary. Um, so if the cost to get involved is too high, they won't be interested. And part of buy-in um, is that cultural institutions want to know uh, that we're going to be responsible stewards of their information. Um, and that means accurately reflecting the metadata that they invested their own expertise and intellectual labor in, uh, as well as actually attributing their institution for the work that they've done and, and the, the objects that they hold in their collection that we're uploading and displaying on Wikipedia. Um, the second part here is, you know, once we have institutions that are interested in contributing to Wikimedia projects, um, we want to make sure that they're actually successful and impactful in their participation. Um, and that's why we designed the program that we did um, with uh, where we've solved the problem centrally of doing bulk upload so the institutions don't have to figure that out. Um, and it's also built around these this idea of a small, discrete, easily trainable task of adding, adding an image to an article. Um, using Visual Editor and uh, tools on commons like crop tool, uh, I can train someone to do a task of adding an image to an article, not writing articles on Wikipedia in a few minutes. Um, next slide. Uh, so, so I, I'm coming to this uh, with a goal of both improving the integrity of the data in Wikipedia, but also improving the usability of our image workflow for editors. Um, and I think with some of these, with this proposal that we can do both of those things. Um, next slide. So I want to just talk a little bit about the landscape on English Wikipedia. Um, here's, uh, uh, I'm not going to be able to go over everything in detail, but um, here's a few links to some existing um, uh, proposals. Uh, like Nat mentioned, this is in uh, the perennial proposal section in English Wikipedia, but just to show what what is the actual uh, kind of most relevant policy? This is the manual of style on the English Wikipedia, um, which explicitly says not to credit the image author or copyright holder in the article, um, unless relevant, whatever that means, it's unclear. <laughs> um, so uh, next slide. Um, this contrasts pretty sharply with uh, what especially cultural institutions and academic institutions are used to. This is just uh, take, taken from a book off my bookshelf. You know, this is what you would typically find in an academic work um, where the, uh, the image itself, that's a historical image, is considered, you know, informational uh, content, just like the text and is um, cited in the text as such. Um, Next slide. So, um, next slide, please. Uh, so I can't go uh, through all of these. I just wanted to give a few links uh, or that people can look up. Um, oh, sorry, if you can go back one, um, just to give people a few seconds if they want to look those up. Um, but there's a few different. Um, sorry, can you go back one slide now? There's a uh, few different uh, places we have mockups on the wiki. Um, that's fine, that's fine. This is, I might regret this, but this is the one article <laughs> I'm aware of in English Wikipedia that has 
an uh, image citation um, in the form of a footnote. Uh, so if you want to look at it live, this uh, uh, it's also the, the top link here, the Charles Robinson uh, Rockwood. Uh, so hopefully nobody comes along and, and uh, removes that. But um, this is, if you would like to see a, a live demo, um, this is already possible in Wikipedia to, to accomplish this by using uh, the, the existing um, ref tag. And you can create ref, uh, use the group uh, function to, to group references. Uh, so as long as you used a citation inside of a caption in an, uh, an image right now, and um, added a separate group for images. There's nothing stopping anyone from from technically from doing this. Um, so, uh, next slide, please. This is just the the screenshot of that. Um, so this is just showing uh, an article with an image, the citation. There's a or the footnote there, which goes to the the references section and. There's a separate uh, uh, group within the references section for images. Um, next slide, please. What I want to also show is what we've been working on at DPLA and what's been uh, essentially enabled by the fact that we've added structured data to all of our images and hopefully would be increasingly possible through uh, more adoption of structured data for all images in, in Wikimedia Commons. Um, this uh, this is something that's possible right now only on commons in a mockup. Um, but what what I created is this template. You can go look at it live. This template embed DPLA on Wikimedia Commons. Um, but uh, it's coded in such a way that as long as the template has only the file, the name of the file as a parameter, um, all of the the data for a caption. Uh, using you know citation type information can be generated automatically. All of these things that are in the caption uh, in the screenshot here are uh, uh, already in the structured data of the image, the title, the creator, the institution it comes from. Um, you know the this is just a hypothetical um, citation format. It could be it could be formatted however you like. But the idea here is that a user uh, could just by including the the uh, image um, have all of the the data that they need necessary for a caption or citation uh, just auto populated in the same way the user expects to be able to do that you know from when they're adding a citation in the text and just provides an ISBN or something and then all the rest is auto populated um, next slide so we have some issues to make that technical part happen. Um, first is that that's not actually possible right now to do within English Wikipedia, for example, because structured data on the commons is not, uh, can't be um, pulled into other projects uh, right now using, um, you know, Lua in the same way that Wikidata uh, data can be pulled into other projects. So what we would expect to see someday is um, that once structured data on commons, those statements can can travel to other wikis, then we could build templates like this that allow us to do that. Um, right now, it's just a mock-up on, on commons. Um, although what we could do is something like building a, a, a gadget that uh, pulls it in in the same way that Cytoid does. And it's just static text rather than being dynamically generated from the Wikimedia Commons uh, data. Um, there would still be need to be some infrastructure built around that. Um, the other thing that would be, uh, of course, the most important part of it is actually support from the Wikipedia community. Um, and uh, so that if people started to just start adding these willy nilly that they wouldn't be getting reverted. Um, but that's, I think, part of why we want to have these community discussions about it. Um, so that that's it for me. Oh, and also, yeah, if you're interested in learning a little more about the DPLA project and what we're working on with structured data on commons, here's some links to our grants and thank you to the Wikimedia Foundation for funding that.
<laughs> Thank you, Dominic. Sorry, <laughs> muted. Um, so overall, uh, what can be done about this? We can change how we do it. After all, it is our own practice. So I'm here also going to give you a few uh, mock-ups, uh, demos. Uh, it's in Ukrainian, but you would be able to see that there is a picture in the first article where we are prominently saying that this picture is a picture by and then the name of the author and also a license. Or in a gallery, it can also look like that. And for some for some pictures, it's really important for some articles to include not just like, you know, a lot of pictures, but pictures that have meaning for the article. Maybe the outer experience or inner exp uh, uh, appearance of the object. And it's important then not only to have the picture included randomly, but have it included because it illustrates some points. Um, it can be also done through a list of illustrations, uh, which I also showed like the upper one, uh, a list of illustrations used in the article. It can also be done through uh, references, uh, which was mentioned also in the chat. Um, and also it can be mentioned with a tiny visible link for photo credits uh, near pictures. Uh, like, I mean, if you don't want to go into that, we can also think about that, like including photo credits, which would link to the original file. And I would say, argue that that might be useful for some people because uh, some of the pictures on comments do not have actually one author. Somebody can, you know, change, crop, uh, do something, and then only the file itself can show you all the contributors to the file. So another uh, argument in the same uh, Wikipedia, English Wikipedia discussion was that uh, people can spam uh, articles with, you know, including a lot of uh, um, images of their own images uh, in attempt to use Wikipedia for free advertisement. But Wikipedia is not an indiscriminate collection of information and editors need to include only those images that matter anyway. This proposal does not change that. And if anything, it goes, it makes people go an extra mile to prove that this specific media is needed. So with that, I'm going to pass the uh, floor to Asaf. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> What I'd like to add uh, to the previous speakers is to, to re-emphasize the point that there are at least two separate issues here uh, in our current practice, and that is the missing license type and the missing attribution. These are at least ostensibly separate issues, and they are in principle separately solvable. We could, for example, um, add the license type, the explicit mention of the license type, while still sidestepping all the issues related to the usernames, right? For example, one, one uh, argument that has been raised and was not mentioned here today yet was that some people might have offensive usernames, uh, and the mention of which in article may be distracting or offensive. Um, so, for example, even though that the offensive username issue is also in principle solvable, we can completely sidestep it and still at least solve the problem of mentioning an individual piece of media's license, license type. Uh, um, so so I'm, I'm pointing out that these are in principle uh, separately solvable. Um, and, and like I said, the offensive username uh, argument, for example, is also solvable, right? We could... Um, uh, decide to have a, just a media credits link under each image. In other words, making the link explicit rather than implicit on the image um, and, and still hide the username. Or we could determine uh, that there is some acceptable username policy, right? And either rename non-compliant usernames or include only acceptable usernames on page and hide unacceptable usernames inside the link. Uh, I'm just bringing it up as a sketch of an answer 
to make the point that we could solve this any number of ways. I think the goal of this talk in this panel is to convince people who are not yet to be convinced that there is a problem and that to, to encourage people to commit to solving it. If we are convinced of this and if we are committed to solving it, we can go ahead and, and brainstorm the actual solutions. Um, but what I'd like to um, move the conversation forward to is um, this, as has been mentioned, this has been a perennial proposal. It has been discussed in the past. And we tend to discuss ourselves into exhaustion, seeking consensus. And that's why this is a perennial proposal. But I, I suggest to you that we could cut through this exhaustion by running a well-designed experiment. Next slide, please. <clears throat> and uh, I suggest to you that, uh, yes, so, so an experiment could actually help us get the evidence that, uh, for example, one of the claims is that this missing attribution is causing reusers to not properly attribute images. And that would be easier to prove if we actually conduct some experiment and show that providing proper attribution does in fact help reusers uh, attribute. So such a, an experiment can really help uh, determine whether and how much of a problem this is. Next slide, please. And I suggest to you that an experiment would help us make progress before the end times when we manage to convince absolutely everybody on all Wikipedias that this change can happen. We could design an experiment, and I'm not pre pretending that we have already designed it. Work needs to be done to create a good, uh, valid experiment to test the hypothesis that changing our uh, image crediting practices would be a good change. And we could, for example, identify some limited scope, maybe a particular wiki project on a large wiki, or maybe a small wiki, or maybe just a set of articles on which we experiment. Uh, we may even have natural experiments in such articles or pages where there's already been this uh, uh, mock-up. I don't know if it's a large enough sample or not, but uh, the point is we could create a sample and a control group, of course, and then implement explicit attribution and explicit licensing on those articles and then measure several things. We could measure the awareness of the licensing terms among the people reading the articles. We could do that with a little invitation at the top of the articles uh, to, to fill out a form or a survey or something. Um, and we could also try and measure the reuse of those images in the wild using an image search to, to try and find out whether those images in the, in the uh, sample group are in fact better attributed than images from the control group. Uh, again, this is just a sketch of an experiment. And I think we would benefit from having you know, professional researchers uh, co-design the experiment. But my point is, an experiment could help us break through the cycle of, is it a problem? Is it not a problem? Is there a solution to every edge case or not? Uh, an experiment can help us move forward. And I'd like to encourage those of you who agree uh, that this is a problem to join us in thinking about how to move forward with an experiment. Next slide. So if you're interested in thinking about it with us, please mention your interest in the talk page of our Wikimania talk, um, and we will get in touch with you and see how you can help with your community, with your Wiki project, wherever you are. Um, maybe you can help with mock-ups, maybe you can help with translation, and we will try and report about this um, probably next year, maybe next Wikimania, if we're able to actually run some kind of experiment. Thank you, Asaf. So we have actually started later, so we don't have a chance now to 
uh, have a viewing session. I've saved the chat uh, and things that you discussed here. Uh, so we would be able to follow up with you if we can find you. If you can put your names in the uh, uh, Etherpad, uh, we would be able to find you even if your real name does not correspond with your username. And I also put here uh, useful links, uh, at least links uh, that are relatable to this uh, discussion. And of course, there would be a link to this presentation from our submission uh, and from the Etherpod. And I wanted to, to say thank you in our four languages uh, uh, to, for your time and for your uh, uh, interesting ideas and the uh, discussion points that you mentioned in the chat. Thank you. And thank you to the speakers and the support team.